everyone, this is Kay from Mad Maine and I am out and about today and doing some errands and I'm, I couldn't be happier because I have been cooped up for almost a week with uh, sick children. And you know, if you're a mom out there, it's typically you who end up uh, being the one staying with the kids, especially if you work from home, right? Because there's like no excuse, but ah, it takes a toll on you sometimes. So today uh, I get to go out and do some errands and I'm really happy. I'm going to... Um, uh sam's club i'm going back to sam's club i'm uh, coming up over my aversion to sam's club and i'm going there to get my uh, mozzarella cheese my uh, orange juice and my uh, uh, brussels sprouts spinach all those things that really are a really good deal there i just came out of this other place that i really like and that's an indian store and they have so many good things and the smell you know walking in there it's like oh <laughs> exotic world but I go there too because it's a deal it is such a bargain because especially if you want to buy spices and you should check that out in your town if you have an indian store because you know like going in to buy little tiny spices you know from i don't know mccormick and all those stuff is crazy expensive and at the indian stores uh you can get like big bags and lots of them for a really good um price i got this one here it's one of my oh i love this thing it's uh on this is that how you say it but this entire bag smells like licorice i love licorice but it, this entire bag of Ennis Star here is like $3.99. It's amazing. So, and I got my basmati rice and I got some uh, chutney things and everything. So, you know, as everybody, I have some New Year's resolutions. I am actually trying to, I mean, eat healthier. I'm not, yes, yeah, so I'd like to uh, lose some weight, of course. But I really want to eat healthier and I want to eat more vegetarian, which is what I've used to do in the past. And it's always good to just kind of incorporate more vegetables anyway. So, Indians cooking that is like the best way to go i think when you want to put more vegetarian dishes into your diet because it's so good you don't even miss the meat right anyway i still will cook up uh, chickens and lamb and things like that but i'm trying you know a little bit more uh, vegetarian and plant-based food for the health of everyone <laughs> and uh also it's really cheaper you're right if you really think about it if you uh have a lot more plant and vegetable based uh, diet it's it's the t it, it can be depends on where you get your stuff but yeah it can be um a lot cheaper okay i'm rambling of course but i also wanted to just kind of talk about um my year in review a little bit i had been tagged by ann over at cn safe about doing this year in review tag and there's a lot of questions and you have to answer it and i don't have the questions and i don't even remember where, what they are but it was basically kind of like what were your thoughts about the previous year when it comes to reselling and for me so this is going to be it <laughs> so, sorry Anne, that's how it is um in in just a quick summary um my last year was uh, interesting and divided because i was not here half the year i was in norway and i did not do any reselling while i was living abroad and that was basically because i couldn't figure out how to make it worth it with the shipping because shipping from norway was I, I was so surprised how crazy expensive that was so but I did source I did get a lot of cool things in Norway and I did uh, put out some videos and everything I took some of them down but I I put out some videos of where I went and the kind of uh, thrift stores that were there and what I got and everything so I did get a lot of cool things and I have since sold a lot of those cool things but a whole bunch of stuff is still left over there because I just couldn't pack it all there was a lot oh it's hard but I know it's over there but I did bring back a lot of sort of lightweight things in my suitcase. I've sold a lot of pewter items. I've sold some little jewelry trinket items and yeah, all kinds of things like that. And uh, even some clothes, all of Norway stuff. But um, so I did not really get back into reselling, I think, until October. Because it even though I come back in the middle of summer, it, it took a little while to just get back into things and get re settled and everything it, it took a long a little bit of while to get over there and get resettled in a totally new place empty apartment basically you know this story maybe if you follow me we rented over the internet partially furnished apartment and we get there and it's a kitchen table and two chairs that's it that was the partially furnished apartment you know it turned out it was fine we but and for me it was in a little bit like oh my gosh i have to start from scratch right and i would say about 85 to 90 percent of the stuff we got was purely thrift hand thrift store second hand type uh, stuff so it worked out it was great and we resold almost everything all the furniture except one teak thing that my mom wanted um we resold kind of like on their version of craigslist before we left so and a lot of things i made more on than what i originally uh, found it for so 
in a way, I did, I guess, a little bit of reselling last year, but not in the eBay type uh, format. So, but then I came back. Um, in, in October, I was kind of just kind of starting. I had a fairly good November, I thought, just leading into the Christmas season and the beginning of December. And, you know, it was good to be back in it. It's fun. I work from home, which probably most of you know if you know me. And uh, that was also, um, you know, the challenge of combining being, you know, a mom. I also teach my kids um, Norwegian on their on the weekends. I do a lot of sort of homeschooling type things. It's internet based. Um, so I spend a lot of time with my kids uh, on, on their Norwegian homework. I have another job that I work from home, luckily. And then I also do the reselling on the side. And that is, you know, it's good money, it's, but it's for me, it's also just, just fun because I just love, love the treasure hunt. I can't get out of my system. I don't think any of us really can get it out of our system that has uh, gotten into it and gotten used to, you know, what you can, uh, you know, get for it. So all in all, my year in review wasn't that great. I can't remember um, my best sale. What would that have been? I don't know, probably a couple of my wool sweaters, you know, my Norwegian things that uh, I was lucky to get for hardly anything. And it sold for good money over here. Quality pieces. Oh, and the big thing I have to mention, that's what I really wanted to also mention, was that I really discovered Goodwill by the Pound. And <laughs> Kat and I have been, we, you know, that's our new thing. And we finally went back and then we went back. I think we've been a couple of times now and we were really supposed to get there like four different times in the last couple of weeks. But every time something happened, my kids being sick and uh, school things happened and kids being sick again. Oh, it's been that uh, season, but that's how it is. But that's been my fun most. And it's hard for me now to shop in a normal thrift store. It is, ah, you know, because it's so crazy dirt cheap at the Goodwill by the pound. And I found some really, really good things. So that has been my biggest um, change as far as uh, the whole uh, treasure hunt eBay thing is that now I go to uh, that place and get something, some, so many things so dirt cheap. And I'm going back soon. I'm jinxing myself, I know, but <laughs> I'm going back soon and meeting up with Kat. So that is going to be fun. All right. I, I, this is totally off the cuff rambling video. I'm so happy to be out and about uh, even doing crazy, boring errands. <laughs> but I wanted to check in. I did kind of kind of want to just answer that um, tag and I will have a much better year in review I hope this year when things are much more in system and everything and oh and the big 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 thing too is that we are in that process of um, acquiring this sort of um, cabin in the woods log thing that I talked about a little bit and that's going to be a potential um, income place too as well as something that we will use as well but anyway, it's going to really um, make me concentrated on uh, earning money. All right, <laughs> I need to uh, get going and I will talk to you all later and have more updates and sales videos and haul videos and all that stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know uh, if there's anything in particular you prefer that I do. You can leave me a comment or anything, but all right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye from Kay in Madme. Bye.